Hi everyone, welcome to IT Bank channel. I'm Young. I'm very excited to have you with me today about Timas. This is my workflow, and I love to share with you all because this is easy to set up and ready to do. It take around three minutes, and you good to go. Let's see. If you don't know what is Timas, so Timas is your terminal multiplexer. The difference between the normal terminal is when you somehow you cloud the terminal it will cloud all the applications including on that terminal this multiplexer is the way thinking like this a session so it can run multiple program in one terminal and it detect with them which means it can run in background and whenever you want you can join or you can attach to that terminal again the way to install is quite easy, depend on your environment, you can just follow the, this documentation on your people. I think it's pretty simple, I'm a master, so I just choose home proof, and this is the one I need, Pro install Timus. For install or Timus on your PC, you have three options to install, this is the suggestion, but I often choose the first one. And the first command here is clone the, the report to your computer. And then they define a symlink to set up the configs. Then the next action is create a local file. That's the way you want to customize everything on that file. And one note here, if you are a Vim user, you should edit to editor to Vim, then you can have all the Vim binding on the theme setting. This reads may have a lot of good things, so I was scared to read all the things if you had time and see the readme and see the demo, so get the idea what it can do. But for now, stay to read me so I can go to the demo so you get sense of what it look like. On the demo, I'm gonna use my terminal and this is on my dot file. I'm gonna try and play it for Timus because I reinstalled, so it's ready there. And I also clone the themas, so I if I CD themas you see here, I already have this on my. And the next action I'm gonna show here is create a new theme session as YouTube theme. So when this one, this here it had a few things, but you're gonna have an overview of what I already did here. So the first thing I'm gonna show is about the theming. And this color here, I will change to my Kanagawa theme, and I will show you how to do it right away. The way I do it, I go to Kanagawa, or you any theme you want, and you're gonna find the color palette there. So, for example, here. So this is color palette, and I just choose the color and the suggestion so it matches what what I want. Then I'm gonna go my terminal, so I can open. So this is where I put the configs. So the terminal dot con dot local. From here I search for can I go one. So you see this, this other chain here I put on the same session, so I can it's gonna be like whenever you wanna change something, I can have a reference and has the color, and. On the command here, you're gonna see this one is that right, and the way I do that one, I'm gonna search on the color balance here, where the co that color, then I search and reply on this file, and I just do for all the color here. Then that's why I create my custom theme instead of the default at the Ultimus. After you had the theme the next action you want to install some plugin and this is the why themas you can install this one it's called themas plugin manager and you can put the setting and you can just set the plugin on the the ds config file and run install at bottom so it will run everything and at the end it will source you need to run source this one if you already Set up. But for Ultimus, it's already set up for you, so you don't need to install this manually. I'm gonna go to my terminal and you're gonna see here. 
Y va a ser por TPM. TPM. Timos Plain Manager. And you're gonna see this already set up for you. And for example, on this one, it has some mod on command here, and they only enable Timos Rescue. This one has for you the guy when you have the multiple tab, for example, here. So I have this one, I got the door file, and I just back between the terminal. And then I can use this one. To save the session, and next time I just restore the session. So this, this is that plugin. So it's simple. Think about the okay when you're working and you go about to have lunch and you want to save everything, or you end of the day you want to save everything, and next day when you come back, you want to restore at the site at the city. So this is the, the plugin for you. Another plugin you want to enable on my Optimus. This is another capability when I use Ctrl H, Ctrl J, Ctrl K, or Ctrl L to navigate between the panel. So, for example, here, if I have this is the terminal, so I just control. But this one is for Vim, and if I, I want this one at Timos, for example, this one. So, this now on the left and on the right, and have two panel. So, if I want Navigate between them. I just use Control so and U H and L to navigate between them. So that pretty much what I need to do. One bonus here: whenever you want to look for something and you don't remember the key map, you just Control B Shift Question. So it lists all the key binding for you to see what the thing you want like. You want to change the layout, country base by. So let's say the right now is year, but it goes split, right? Spy, country base by. So it's now gender layout. All right. If you want to find my configs, you always can find from my repo, dot file. And from here, you're gonna see this all the tool, the setting I put here. And the way I post is quite simple. You just follow the resume and the list all the things I do. And from here, you can find the theme of configuration on this repo. Thank you, everyone. If you have any questions or comment on this kind of content, let me know. See you next time. Bye bye.